माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फ्लाइट सिमुलेटर हमेशा से एक बेंचमार्क रहा है रियलिज्म का बट जैसे जैसे विजुअल्स रियल लाइफ के क्लोजर आते गए परफॉर्मेंस में थोड़ा सा स्ट्रगल करना स्टार्ट किया बट नाउ डीएलएस एस फोर इज हियर एनवीडिया का लेटेस्ट ए आई पावर्ड लिप और हाँ ये कोई नॉर्मल अपस्केलिंग नहीं है मल्टीफ्रेम जनरेशन ने पूरा फील ही चेंज कर दिया है अब गेम से बेटर दिख नहीं रहा है अब बेटर रन भी हो रहा है एंड दिस इज हाउ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फ्लाइट सिमुलेटर वॉज मेन टू बी प्लेड है ना This is more than just another performance boost. DLSS 4 with a multi-frame generation in Microsoft Flight Simulator is changing how the game feels. Let's break down what it actually means. DLSS 4 is the latest version of Nvidia's AI-driven upscaling, but it's not just about a sharper frames. One of its standout feature is multi-frame generation or MFG. Unlike earlier versions that relied only on spatial data on motion vectors, MFG uses temporal data from past frames to generate entirely new frame between every two natively rendered frames. Think of it like AI filling in the gaps before your GPU can compute the next frame resulting in ultra smooth motion. In the sim like Microsoft Flight Simulator where the camera panning and scenery transitions are constant, the difference is immediate. To enable DLSS for MFG mode, you simply navigate to the graphics setting and set frame generation to Nvidia DLSS. Then set the frame rate multiplier to 4x. Here's our test environment. This isn't your average mid-range card. The Asus Tough Gaming 5060 Ti is built with the military grade component and protective PCB coating that shield against moisture, dust and thermal stress. Perfect for sustained flights over photogrammetry rich cities. A 3.1 slot heat sink, triple XL take fans and Asus Max contact cooling ensure tame stay control even during a storm test or dense New York City flyers and the fans whisper quite under 50 degrees Celsius. For performance metrics, we are using CapFrame X for live overlays and frame time analysis. Let's start with native rendering. Microsoft Flight Simulator looks incredible but heavy frame time fluctuations and motion blur became noticeable during tight turns and scenery loading. Now watch this. DLSS 4 with the multi-frame generation stabilizes performance and adds fluidity to even complex transitions. We are seeing more consistent FPS, better 1% lows and dramatically reduced ghosting or stutter. The frame pacing graph speaks for itself, smoother arcs, tighter frame times. So how does MFG work? Unlike earlier DLSS versions, it predicts what's coming next by analyzing multiple pass frames and motion vectors for both temporal and spatial data. So this allows it to generate highly accurate in-between frames, improving temporal consistency and reducing motion artifacts. With 785 AI trillion operations per second of performance, the RTS 5060 Ti flexes hard here, enabling DLSS 4's transformer-based model to upscale with a serious visual fidelity. Even in balanced or performance modes, visual stay creeps while boosting FPS. In MSFS, that means no camera blur, no micro stutter, just a flight that feels visually uninterrupted. DLSS 4 in Microsoft Flight Simulator isn't just an upgrade, it's a transformation. With multi-frame generation and the new transformer upscaling model, you are getting smoother motion, crisper visuals and higher performance without sacrificing quality. Whether you are flying on wax seam, recording content or just chasing buttery smooth skies, DLSS 4 plus ASUS Tough RTS 5060 Ti makes it all feel effortless. Try DLSS 4 with the latest NVIDIA app, link is in the description. And if you are looking to get this upgrade, check out EliteHubs.com, your one-stop shop for all things computer. Trusted, fast and built for gamers like you. Bye-bye.